Welcome to video 93 in series 3, and in this video I'm going to make the dynamic crosshair UI. Okay, so on the assault rifle I'll just make a new canvas, and in this video it's only the UI part of it. Next video we'll make the animations and the controller. Uh, so go ahead, select the assault rifle and add a new canvas, and call it a canvas dynamic crosshair. Change it from screen space overlay to screen space camera. And I will in fact set the render camera by code. Uh, for every gun, it'll automatically find uh, the player and set the uh, weapon camera as the camera. Uh, but for now, just set it like this so we can see what we're doing in the game view. And set the plane distance to 100, uh, sorry, to 1 instead of 100. And what that just does is that instead of being uh, drawn 100 units away, the UI will be drawn just one unit away from the camera. As for the scaling, change that as well. I'll put it to 1920 by 1080, since that's what my monitor is. And just change it to 0.5. I'll now add four images. So UI image. First of all, this one. Change the color to full red. And I'll change the uh, size of it as well. I'll make the, uh, well, I'll make the width, say, 3. The height, 20 and the position 15. And I'll just call this top. This is the top part of the crosshair. You can see a little piece right there. Okay, make another one. We'll just duplicate that, call it bottom. And this time the position is minus 15. There we go. Uh, duplicate again twice. And this one is going to be right. And I'll push it over 15 units to the right. As you can see, it looks vertical at the moment. So I'll just swap these values around, 20 and 3. So the height is 3 now. OK. And for the left, I'll also do that. Instead of 15, minus 15. And once again, height 20 and width 3. OK, so that's it. That is, in fact, the crosshair done. And I'll just change the name there to left. OK, so that is my crosshair. Uh, I'll just save that as uh, the prefab. And uh, the next step would be to actually create animations so that, uh, you know, the crosshair widens. It comes further apart. One step for walking and then another step for running. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.